so lord i want to be a baller i don't want to be a mechanic so a rich housewife i think that is my whole goal in life to look like a rich housewife um it's like mm, 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 what <laughs> how can i lose if i'm already chose like it's giving that right don't you think <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kiwa, and we are back with another sit down. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. My birthday is around the corner, <laughs> and I, would, I thought it would be appropriate to get into um, my luxury wish list what is on my luxury wish list um which is really not really for my birthday but it's for my birthday so if you're watching this and you want to get me a birthday gift this is where the list is at okay <laughs> but we're also going to do a uh, first and favorites designer designer edition and then we're going to do a bit of unboxing okay is that cool is that cool it's definitely cool so let's get into it um we're gonna get into the unboxing it's nothing really like hectic but anyways <laughs> um so we're gonna start with prada or nada um these shades from sandla's hut um then they come in this case very cute um and this is what the shades look like they are tortoise shell they have prada on the side prada prada um i wanted something i didn't want black shades this time because i feel like oh that's all i do i wear black shades all the time so yeah these give very like Ooh, this hair this is like it's giving <laughs> a rich housewife i think that is my whole goal in life to look like a rich housewife um so these are very like la -di da very ladylike and yeah love them got these at sunglass hat um yeah Next um, is my next pair of shades. <laughs> I've got these as a little pick me up. They're from Burberry. Um, yeah, um, I think Burberry's been coming up with like quite cool designs, but I think for me, I'll always be a Versace girl, right? Um, so these shades are so so cool not something i would really like go for but i was was or is still going through a phase <laughs> um anyways um i think bonang would wear these so that's what I, um so these are burberry usually burberry has the gold um logo the tb but here they're written in black and i thought that was so so cool these shades are so cool like they just give they give a betty vibes like it's like mm, 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 what <laughs> how can i lose if i'm already chose like it's giving that right don't you think i love these shades i'm obsessed with them very obsessed with them um these are, have become my go-to shades they just they're just so cool they give off a cool vibe now that we're done with the unboxing i think we can get into more of why we are here today um so as i said we're gonna do first and favorites <laughs> my first and favorites um designer edition and we're just gonna go through you know i chose three categories and we're just gonna go through what was my first designer purchase in that category and what is my current favorite um item in that category okay so this video is not gonna be too long okay 
and so yeah so we're first going to start with fragrances my take on fragrances is that they it's the like easy entry point um into you know acclimatizing yourself to designer or luxury items and I think fra buying fragrances is one of it's, it's one of the easiest way to buy into designer brands right so uh, my first designer fragrance was this Elie Saab Rose Couture um, I got this I think about five six years ago um, this was gifted to me by my friend um it's got a very powdery scent very pink perfume vibes um so i used to use this religiously until i stopped because um i was very i'm very sentimental and i didn't want the perfume to run out i mean i could have just purchased another bottle right um yeah so uh i so i still kept it i haven't i haven't used it in a very long time um it's just that it does it's a scent that doesn't particularly resonate with me anymore um but for sentimental reasons i've kept it <laughs> you know, i used to love it it smells like um like very it's very powdery and i'm not into powdery scents anymore but um yeah i don't really do pink perfume anymore I do but I don't this is very girly and floral like this smells very good um, yeah so that's the story behind that and then my current favorite fragrance and I know the past few videos have been going on and on about my Christian Dior my current favorite fragrance like you know i try to just um like now obviously i use the dior a lot but this lady over here i unmatched it just smells and this is my most complimented perfume the louis vuitton coupe yo like this is my favorite perfume out of all of them like this 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 is the one um as i said i always get compliments on this one i have done a fragrance review on it and what the notes are if you're really interested in that kind of thing but yo it just smells different okay and i feel like um it's just multi-seasonal you it works in the winter time and it works in the summertime and i think i'm saying it works in the winter time because i'm gonna be wearing it also oh this is my favorite my most favorite perfume none of my perfumes come close to like this one in the next cat ah, in the next category we have sunglasses okay also I feel like it's also a very easy way to buy into designer brands by buying sunglasses. Um, they're not cheap, but they're also not wildly expensive, right? And it's whatever. So my first designer shades were these Versace babies, Versace. Um, these are the tributes. <laughs> these shades were once trending, uh, you know, um, so but 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 i had the tortoise shell ones which i got on sale and then because i used to wear them so so much um when i took them in for repairs they had a chip in the frame <laughs> so i took them in for repairs and they're like um they're not gonna fix them they're just gonna send me a voucher to get a new pair luckily because these have been discontinued luckily you know they were still available if they were not i would have literally died right so these um i don't wear them often i always want to wear them in a controlled environment because they don't make these anymore right they do make similar styles but they don't they don't make these anymore okay so yeah these were my first designer shades um versace 
um, attributes but in the tortoise shell so but yeah i got these because of the warranty um so they only had black available <laughs> so my current favorite shades we just did the unboxing are these burberry shades like they just give me all the vibes that i'm feeling right now so like sporty um very cool very snobby like love 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 them i was a bit skeptical about keeping them um because when i bought them i shouldn't have bought them when i bought them okay but i needed a little pick me up that time and i just never took them back <laughs> So every time I wear that, I'm like, yo, yo. And it's just, I think for me, it's the Burberry um, embossed in black. And it's not like that typical TB um, that everybody has. So now we have a little special category. And um, I would say this is my first ever luxury purchase. Um, um, yeah, it was my first luxury purchase. I decided that year for my 31st birthday to gift myself with some Louis Vuitton for the first time. Okay, so do you want to guess what it is? <laughs> um, this was my first ever, oh, it's not even in the dust bag. Um, my first ever here's the dust bag and this is the item so this is the toiletry pouch 26 um it's a toiletry pouch but you know how we be doing um all the instagram girlies use this as a clutch and that's how i was influenced by cynthia guebu to get this um, and some like my friend was asking me do i want to put a chain on i'm like you don't know <laughs> no we won't be doing that all right so this piece is special because they don't they've discontinued this size and i see they brought a bigger one which is like i got this for less than eight thousand and that one is just excuse the noise i think my mom's chopping some stuff in there um so yeah so i i don't really carry this piece too often i should carry it more often but i love this this is like one of my favorites and because it's discontinued so hmm that's what makes it even more special right so yeah you can use that as a toy it fits quite a lot um and because the inside is meant to have toiletries um you like i'm not finicky about what i put inside like powder or lip gloss or whatever then it becomes cool like that okay so yeah this was my very very first big girl purchase um so yeah and last but not least we have the much awaited what's on my luxury wish list <laughs> okay um so there's not much um i feel like i've really acquired um, a lot of the stuff that i've been wanting but um all that's left is like the high ticket items like i do want more handbags excuse me um which obviously takes a little bit more thought and resources <laughs> But um, I will give you what my top five um, most wanted luxury items just to close off this video, right? Um, so I think at the top of the list are the those Dolce and Gabbana sandals. Very simple. I'll insert a picture. Very simple, strappy sandal. It's just my vibe like i love a simple strappy sandal and with that one it's just all in the details because it has the little d and g at the back of the heel such a sexy shoe like that shoe is so me um next on the list i had um the gucci jacquard scarf in like a champagne or a gold 
<sighs> like I have visions of myself wearing that um, rocking that scarf this winter um, third on the list is the a Louis Vuitton fragrance I absolutely there's two fragrances that I absolutely have been thinking about that I cannot get out of my mind and which I feel like I should go and purchase for myself <laughs> so um, the one is one of the the ones in the black bottles one of the oods and then the other one is um, for my birthday I, I had to choose between this Coubertin and that one and I ended up choosing this one and it's called Erste Absence or something like that and then what else is on my luxury list um i'm not a luxury sneaker i'm not a sneaker person really so uh, you know and then the one item that like has just been on my list but i can i cannot justify the price for the item are the bomb deer mules uh, from louis vuitton and i'm just like Am I gonna pay 20k for flip flops? Like, is that something I wanna do? <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's five. So that's really at the top five of my luxury wish list. Um, so, Lord, I wanna be a baller and I wanna be a mechanic. So, the Lord blesses me with more resources. I can, you know, definitely try and acquire all those items before by my next birthday <laughs> but stay tuned to what i will get for my birthday unboxing i hope you enjoyed this video um don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to share and i'll see you bye